we now turn our attention to the 1500 meters on the inside there is Paul Correa of Kenya won their trial and a 348 win in the uh, Emsley car mile so he's in good form one of the main threats for a medal here Shamel Garouge is next to him, Estevez, Liefers, Chuki, Para, Silva, Shabunin, Paula, and Higuero. Two Frenchmen there, Chuki and Bala. Three Spaniards, Estevez, Para, and Higuero. Two Kenyans, because there's the second page, Isaac Songok, going as well as uh, Paul Correa here on the inside. Uh, here next to him is the world record holder the winner of 76 of his last 79 races at 1500 or a mile stretching back to 1996 the only upsets those two olympic games he'll want to put that right in athens next year here's reyes estevez twice the world bronze medalist sixth last time european former champion silver medalist last year a redoubtable competitor Jan Liefers of the Netherlands beginning to fulfill his promise the Dutch record holder Roberto Parra at 800 meters European indoor and junior champion moved up now to 1500 meters not a very fast personal best but he's a fast finisher as is this man Louis Silva surprisingly in his first world final at 1500 meters but he's a world indoor champion another big kicker will be next Vyacheslav Shabunin in his fourth world championships the Russian personal best of 332 28 he'll be hoping for slow pace and then kicking past as many as possible and listen to the crowd roar for the European champion Mehdi Bala 330.97 is best only 12th in two years ago but in better form now Juan Carlos Higuero three times the Spanish champion Olympic finalist then a man who's made big improvement this year, the Ukrainian Ivan Heshko. And the 12 man field will be completed by the youngest in the field, the one junior, 19 year old Isaac Songok, already a world youth champion two years ago. How will the race be run? Will El Garouge make a long burst from a slow pace? Will someone try to make it quick? Full house here on the Stade de France watching this race, looking particularly for their favourites, and it's a Frenchman straight into the lead. The crowd will love that. Wearing number 457, Mehdi Bala, not especially quick there. El Garouge settling in just behind him. The fair head figure of Aes, Reyes Estevez, who challenged Bala so hard for the European title, coming up on his shoulder on the outside, number 820, Songo. Now it's the Kenyan into the lead, Paul Correa, but now Ray Estevez chopping and changing at this early stages. Ray Estevez is taking it on and moving the pace up a little bit from Correa then and Bala and El Garouge. It's not going to be too slow and it's interesting that Ray Estevez, who's often famed for his sprint finish, sprint finish is uh, making this an honest race, not especially fast. But quicker than I think we, some of us had expected. 47.70. In second place behind him is Paul Correa. In third is Hisham El Garouge. Unusual for Estevez to take the front at this stage. I'm wondering with two other Spaniards in the race whether perhaps he's trying to run a little bit of team tactics. Never quite sure what the tactics are going to be. But with two well-known kickers amongst the Spaniards. It's interesting because I think with a lot of people, I think Hisham El is going to want to push the pace on though. He's not want to, going to want to leave it to the kick of the Frenchman. And El Garouge right up onto the shoulder of Estevez and even shading into the lead. El Garouge taking it up very early indeed. Two laps to go and straight away the crowd can see that Mehdi Bala has tucked in on his shoulder. Estevez is next. Then it's Paul Correa. Behind him is Songok, and in the inside it's Heshko. Behind them is the other Frenchman, Chuki, then Gert Jan Liefers, Vyacheslav Shibunin right at the back of the field. 156.29. It's pretty quick, 
for the 58-59 lap and El Garouj prepared to do all the work. I mean, those who say he can only run pace races, he's doing his own pacing and he's fully capable of running fast off the, the good pace, but he's doing the work. And Barla is in second place, a rough house there with uh, Correa and Estevez on the inside, Chuki just behind, then Heshko, then Song, uh, Song no, Korea, uh, Songo, rather, yes. Korea, the first of the Kenyans in equal fourth place. Coming up to the bell then, El Garouge is running quite quick, but not too fast. He'll come up to the bell. He'll take the bell in 2.37.87. Barla in second place. Estevez is third. The second Frenchman, Chuki, is in fourth. Then it's Heshko. The Kenyans at the moment, Korea and Songot with leafers between them are after that, pushing on through 1200 meters in 2.51.28, 54.99, and look at him go. El Garouge is going, but Barla is going with him. And Estevez is in third place. And there's a challenge from Chuki, who's just taken Barla's record. El Garouge and the Frenchman. The Frenchman being lifted by this crowd. El Garouge, but Barla is still with him. El Garouge and Barla, then the gap back to Chuki and Estevez. Who will take this title? El Garouge is being pushed by Brady Barla, but El Garouge is strong. El Garouge is coming through in supreme fashion to take his fourth world title. El Garouge wins it, Barla is second, Heshko takes the third place medal. Korea just behind him, then Rui Silva finishing very fast. Chuki couldn't quite maintain the pace to the end, though he ran superbly well for the man with a calf injury there. But what a champion this is. There have been those who sometimes detracted from El Garouge, saying he's got others to do the work for him. Not on this occasion. He took the lead with more than 800 metres to go and really did it the hard way, and he's pressed throughout by Mehdi Bala. If anyone had doubted the greatness of this man, who we sometimes take for granted, this race will have helped seal his position in history, Sean. Really brave race from Hisham El Garouge. He knew he couldn't afford to wait and leave it to the final kick. He had to wind it up from quite a long way out. Some people before the race were saying he was going to take it maybe from 600, but with two laps to go, he wound the pace up, pushing harder and harder. Impressive race from Bala, though, also kept close to him, but Hisham kept the pressure on. El Garouj is still the king. Fantastic record. 77 wins now in 80 races at 1,500 metres and a mile ever since 1996. He just needs that Olympic title. He'll be desperate to get that last year. Look at that time, though. 331.77.